so in this video I'm using the other dental impressions to demonstrate the steps of making study based model the first step is we should trim the excess gypsum using a cast knife and then uh, we can use the trimmer machine that already available in the laboratory and make sure to leave anatomical markings on the dental impression and after that we continue to make the base firmer with gypsum powder prepare bowl, spittle, gypsum powder and water put water first into the bowl and then we can put the gypsum powder into the bowl do a twist movement so that the gypsum powder and water can be homogeneously fused And we can continue to measure the best height of the maxillary feet. It is about approximately 4.5 cm. The posterior edge of the maxillary jaw, it should be perpendicular to the midline. The anterior edge of the left and right bases of the maxilla forming an angle of 25 degrees. Meanwhile, the left and right posterior basis of the maxilla and mandible jaw form a 130 degrees angle. Left and right side of the maxilla and mandible jaw of the base should be form a 65 degrees angle. The shape of the maxillary base tapers to the anterior midline. Meanwhile, the shape of the base of the mandible jaw it is more rounded than the maxillary jaw. We almost finish, and the last step is we make a curved line at the base to show the anatomical landmarks to make it more clearly visible from all sides. The very final step is to check whether the upper and lower teeth are occluded or not and in my study base model the results are occluded and not shaking so I think I make the good study base model for the clinical exposure practice.